time now for a look at the latest in local news. In the news, it's election year 2022, and early voting for the upcoming May 24th primary begins Monday, May 2nd. Runs up until May 20th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The early voting process takes place at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center in Jessup. That's located at 644 North 4th Street in Jessup. Wayne County has several contested races locally on both the school board and the county council. In District 1 on the county commission board, three candidates are running, including Brian Griffiths, who will be our special guest today on the Butch and Bob Show. Other two candidates in District 1, Mike Gordon and Stephen Jones, all running on the Republican ballot. In District 2, incumbent Kevin McCreary is running unopposed. In District 3, four candidates in the race, Morris Melvin, Tim Hopkins, Corbett Nichols, and Larry Brantley, all four of those men running on the Republican ballot. Only one race will move to November, and that is the race in District 4 for the county council. As incumbent James Thomas is the lone Democrat on the ballot in May, and Fred Anderson is the lone Republican on the ballot in May. Both men will win the primary and again square off in November in the general election. In District 5, the May 24th primary will be between incumbent Kathy Keith and challenger Jamie Hickox, both of those candidates on the Republican ballot. School board races, nonpartisan, only two contested school board races for school board seats. District 2, incumbent Bruce Harris and Kelvin Mock on the ballot. In District 2 and in District 5, incumbent Nick Ellis and Tina Mosley on the ballot. District 1, Representative Joe McPipkin and District 4, Representative Sharon Daniel have no opposition. Also running unopposed is Todd Wise, the only candidate in District 3, as incumbent Ray Davidson seek, not seeking another term. Once again, the early voting begins this coming Monday, May the 2nd. Primary date is May 24th. There are two Saturdays of early voting, May 7th and May 14th. The time on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Again, during the week, it's 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. They all at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center and located at 644 North 4th Street. And we encourage all registered voters to get out and vote. It all begins this coming Monday, May 2nd. Wayne County Commissioners meet Monday, May 2nd for their monthly board meeting at 6 p.m. in courtroom C. Again, under new business, consider and approve Wayne County safety meeting policy, consider and approve acceptance of Drude Hills Road, and consider and approve amending the fiscal year 2022 general fund budget for a fire prevention grant. Items with the administrator, items with the commissioners, all that set for this coming Monday, May 2nd at 6 p.m. at courtroom C. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor, the Commercial Messages, so please stay tuned. As we reported yesterday, Wayne County High School has hired its new band director at Tuesday's Board of Education meeting, and this Sunday, May 1st, at the High School Commons area, they're going to have a meet and greet for the public with the band director, and band director Andy Hersey and his wife Christy Hersey will be the assistant band director. Both will be on hand Sunday for a parents and students meeting at 2 to 3 p.m. at the Commons area. And then from 3 to 4 p.m., just refreshments and a chance to meet and talk with the Hersey's all taking place this Sunday afternoon at the high school commons area. For more on the hire of the new band director, we talked to school superintendent Dr. Sean Kelly after Tuesday's meeting. His name is uh, Mr. Frederick Hersey. He comes to us from Perry, Georgia. Uh, his wife will also be joining us, Ms. Christy Hersey. Uh, so he'll be a band director, assistant band director. Um, we're very excited to have uh, him come to us, uh, but we're also equally as excited for his wife to join us as well. We think it'll be really good to have a husband-wife combo uh, working with our band. Also, you know, uh, a female presence in our band is very, very important to us, and we're very excited um, that they are coming to us. From what I have learned, um, they are both very accomplished. The Perry Band is known not only statewide, but, um, you know, very well respected within, this, you know, the southeast uh, part of the United States. So we are very excited about uh, the future of our band program. They've been there quite a while. They've had success. I understand they just wanted a different location. Is that correct? Or? From what I understand, uh, they either have recently become empty nesters or about to become empty nesters, would like to get a little bit closer to the coast. Wayne County offers that opportunity, and it's very appealing to a lot of people. So we uh, took full advantage of that and have been working really hard. Dr. McDaniel has been working really hard with them, and um, we're very excited that they'll be coming on board with us. Okay, thank you very much. All right, Bob. And once again, those comments of School Superintendent Dr. Sean Kelly. Once again, the meet and greet is taking place this Sunday at the Commons area from 2 to 3, and then afterwards they'll have refreshments, and you can talk with the two Band directors, again, band director Andy Hersey and his wife Christy Hersey, and they came from Perry, Georgia, and they're going to be the new band directors here at Wayne County High School. Other notes from Tuesday's school board meeting, the school announced that the school system received its flip of money from the state. The total amount is $689,782.09. The board under budget considerations looking to up the annual supplement for employees with years of service for years. For years, everyone's local supplement at the school system has been $1,500. School Superintendent Dr. Sean Kelly is proposing to the Board of Education 
that an employee with zero to nine years stay at fifteen hundred dollars, but an employee with ten to nineteen years a supplement of twenty five hundred dollars, and for employees with thirty or with twenty years of service or more, a thirty five hundred dollars supplement. No decision was made Tuesday at the board meeting, but the board has the information on what this will mean for the upcoming budget. And again, they're considering it as the new pay scale when the they approve their budget next year. Also, the school system seeking bids for new lights at JC Stadium and for bleachers at the track. Estimate cost for the lights is somewhere between three hundred twenty-five to three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Estimate for the bleachers is ninety to hundred thousand dollars. Once again, the school system says the money will come from austerity money that's no longer being cut from the school systems by the state. Two years ago, Governor Brian Kemp of the legislature stopped cutting that money from the local school systems budget. So again, the austerity cut money is where they expect to get the funding for the bleachers and the lights for the stadium. And that's a look at some of the items from Tuesday's school board meeting. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes in the news. A reminder, this Saturday is going to be Amnesty Day in Wayne County. The city of Scriven, in partnership with County Commissioner Kevin McCreary, is hosting Amnesty Day this Saturday, April 30th. Drop-off items between 8 a.m. and 12 noon Saturday. The drop-off locations are Grace Community Center, Park inside the city of Scriven, and the area located right beside the Wayne County Farmer's Market. If you're unable to bring the items you can to drop off, you can call the City of Scriven at 579-2211 and inform them prior to the pickup. If you have any questions about any item, simply call Scriven City Hall as well, 579-2211. If you'd like to volunteer, that's the number to call as well. They'll have the trash trailers and rollouts at both locations on Saturday, again from 8 to 12 this Saturday, Amnesty Day here in Wayne County. Odom Homecoming presenting Spring Outdoor Movie Night tomorrow night, April 29th at the Odom Train Depot. Gets in the way at 8 p.m. The movie is hop. It's free to the public. Bring your own chair, blanket, or golf cart. Concessions will be available for sale at the townhouse, and they state the movie will start at dark. Big crowds this week at the Wayne County Fair. Again, it runs up until Saturday. And tonight, the time from 6 to 10. Tomorrow and Saturday, the time from 6 to 11. Admission $10 per person. Again, J.C. Fairgrounds is location. Wayne County Fair taking place this week out at the J.C. Fairgrounds. Beginning Monday, May 2nd, and for a period of 90 days, a reminder, Dixie Road over Boggy Creek Road is going to be closed, and there will be a detour at that location. Southeastern Site Development will be doing some work in the area. They want, they want to let residents know that, once again, Dixie Road over Boggy Creek Road will be closed beginning Monday for approximately 90 days. And that's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. We'll recap the big win for Wayne County, go into the Sweet 16, and look at the bracket. All that comes up in sports. Bob Morgan saying have a great day.